Custom Charts for Jira is a reporting app that allows users to easily build powerful reports on a Jira dashboard. As you can see here, building out charts is really simple. All I'm doing is selecting values from dropdowns, pushing buttons, checking boxes. I don't even need to know how to write JQL statements to build out my charts. Customizing charts is also very easy. You can change your chart colors, reorder segments. You can even pull in issues from across the JIRA instance to do cross-project reporting. We also support custom fields, including fields from other apps like ScriptRunner and Assets for JIRA. Custom Charts for JIRA comes with multiple gadgets you can use to enhance your dashboard reporting. If you type in custom charts in the gadget search bar, you'll see three or four different gadgets depending on your JIRA hosting type. If you're in JIRA Cloud, you'll see the Custom Charts gadget, the Issue List gadget, the Shared Dashboard gadget, and the Simple Search gadget. If you're in Data Center or Server, you'll see all gadgets except for the Shared Dashboard gadget. That's only available in JIRA Cloud. On the Scrum Team dashboard, we're trying to help the team understand how things are going in their sprints. We're using several custom charts gadgets to help the team. As you can see here, most of the gadgets on the dashboard are our custom charts gadget. If you use custom charts, this is the gadget you're probably most familiar with, as it's the one you use to build out your reports. As you can see here, I have a report showing release progress, issue types, and other items around our sprint. On this story points per sprint report, I have a 2D table chart that's actually showing me the team's velocity. One really neat thing about custom charts is you can calculate the average or sum of any number field in the instance or date field, even if it's a custom field. That allows us to help our teams understand how many story points they're completing in each sprint. Scrolling to the bottom of the dashboard, we can see the issue list gadget. This is another gadget that comes with custom charts that gives you a different way to visualize your JIRA data on your dashboard. Issue list displays your JIRA issues as a list with each column on the list representing a field of your choice. As you can see here, we've added in some fields to show us flagged issues and their due dates. One really neat thing about issue list is it comes with quick filters. Quick filters allow you to filter down the issues on the list right in the gadget. I've added this issues due this month quick filter where if I click it, you can see it's only showing me the issues due this month. Another one of our gadgets on this dashboard is Simple Search. Simple Search allows users to build filters in the gadget, which then can be applied to any link charts on the dashboard. As you can see here, these dropdowns all represent different filters, and I actually have default values in place for this status filter. You can see that there are two charts connected to Simple Search. So let's say I wanted to see issues across all statuses, not just issues in to-do and in progress. If I click the status dropdown and clear the selected items, you'll notice those two linked charts update to show me issues across all statuses. For these filters in Simple Search, you can pull in any system or custom field as a filter. You can pull in any saved JIRA filter. You can also write your own filter in the gadget with a custom JQL statement. The last gadget that comes with custom charts for JIRA is the shared dashboard gadget. Remember, this is only available in JIRA Cloud. The main use case for shared dashboard is so that you can share out your custom charts reports in a JIRA service management portal with your customers. When you add the gadget to a JIRA dashboard, you're really just configuring the layout of that dashboard that appears in the portal, as well as which custom charts reports show up on that dashboard and which customers can see the dashboard. Right now I'm in a JIRA service management portal as a customer. To access a shared dashboard, all I do is click on my profile photo in the top right and click My Dashboards. Once the dashboard loads, I can see several issue list and custom charts gadgets that are related to my support requests. That allows me to see the status of my tickets and if anything is waiting on me as the customer. 
As a note, the shared dashboard will honor the typical Atlassian JSM permissions in that I can only see the tickets where I'm the reporter, a request participant, or part of the organization that the ticket is shared with. Now that you know about all the gadgets that come with custom charts for JIRA, you can build an even better reporting dashboard. Please reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Thank you.